Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Um, I like to talk about a movie that's going to be coming out in about two weeks. Uh, I saw it a little bit earlier, of course, because everyone knows me that I basically check out the movies through bootleg. And it, this particular bootleg review, I'm going to talk about a movie called Justice League Doom. Um, basically what Justice League Doom is about is for those this is supposed to be the new DC animated film that's coming out uh, February 28th I thought it was going to come out in February 21st so you might want to check the dates on that but I believe it's February 28th um, <clears throat> I'll tell you why it should have came out on February 21st in a minute um, what the gist of this story really is about is this is a story about how Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, John, Cyborg, and of course the, uh, and of course Batman, um, and Flash, all find themselves on the heels of a team of supervillains discovered, and implement uh, the Dark Knight's contingent plan for stopping any of the superheroes from going rogue, and this plan basically for those who don't understand what Batman was doing was was that <clears throat> Batman believes in Batman as we all know is probably one of the smartest superheroes in the comic book world if you were to judge Batman by his intelligence he is the smartest in fact a genius in the plan that he was working on Batman, as we all know, has always been a paranoid superhero, and he always believes that if any of these superheroes, because we all know the Justice League of America is without no doubt the most powerful group of superheroes in the universe. I mean, we're talking about power beyond human control. Basically, if you look at it, you have Superman, you have Flash, you have John you have um, Cyborg. Well, he's not really powerful. He's he's a he's an intelligent like Cyborg, but for the most part, but he is strong though. So you might as well throw him in there. And of course, you got Green Lantern. Now, Batman believes that if any of these people ever went to the dark side, we have to put a. He really wanted to neutralize them, but you know, in case it neutralizing didn't work. Or had to kill him he knew how to stop their weaknesses and what happened was was that Bandle Savage that is the supervillains uh, team leader he's like this immortal who's lived for centuries believes that there is a way to stop this uh, stop this Justice League and that is break into Batman's computer get his encrypted files and then bring it back and study their weaknesses and then use it against the most powerful superheroes and destroying them that way now Batman's plan was brilliant and that's what Savage uh, Vandal Savage believed Vandal Savage basically felt like you know what your their arch enemies have been fighting fighting these superheroes for decades and cannot defeat them because as we all know good conquers evil in some cases so Vandal believed that, you know what, Batman is about the only smartest one who knows how to stop these villains. So we get his files and use it against them and basically kill them that way. And they and the way some of the methods that they were trying to kill him, like, uh, one, one uh, way was uh, use uh, a gun to shoot Superman and use uh, kryptonite bullets. Another way was to have Wonder Woman keep fighting until her heart gives out. Another way was to use Green Lantern's um, emotional feeling by using his will and turning it to fear in case he ever went on a mission and something went wrong, he would make himself quit. So there were various ways, because I don't want to spoil the whole story, but there were various ways of how how Batman believed they could stop or neutralize this powerful group now now without going too into the story because I don't want to spoil it for those who haven't seen it because I, I know how everybody feels when you tell too much of the story but when you see the ending of it first of all I want to uh, commend 
uh, Dwayne McDuffie because I'm going to get to him in a minute. But overall with the story, this was actually pretty good. This was better than the All-Star Superman. I wasn't really too crazy about that one. But this is probably the second best film that McDuffie did next to uh, Justice League uh, Crisis in Two Worlds. Crisis in Two Worlds is without no doubt the best one out of the animated DC films next to um, Batman Under the Red Hood. That was also a great one too. And McDuffie does go back into the action pack uh, world where he basically have these Justice League members doing their most incredible of of acrobatic moves and action sequences put into this film. I love Batman in this particular episode. And you know something? You know, they use the famous voices that we all are familiar with. I believe they used uh, Tim Daly and they also use uh, Kevin Connolly, you know, the most famous voices, the definitive voices for the Batman and Superman. And of course, they had other people involved that were included in the story. But you can tell that was Tim Daly's voice for Superman, and you could tell Kevin Connolly's voice for um, the Batman. Um, I have to tell you that you know I have to give this an A plus. I just seen this one, this particular um, movie, and I have to tell you this was really, really good. It's kind of sad in a way. It's kind of bittersweet in a way because it, you know Dwayne McDuffie. You know, is an African American writer slash producer slash animated. Um, I believe he draws too, but don't quote me on that. But um, he is a brilliant writer when it comes to the DC world. Uh, for those who don't know what McDuffie did, he did uh, write this particular film, which was uh, Justice League Doom, and he also. Will you be quiet? Sorry. Sorry, that's my cat looking for attention. I apologize. Um, in this particular um, movie, basically, McDuffie wrote uh, Justice League Doom, and he also wrote All-Stars Superman, and he also wrote uh, Justice League uh, Crisis in Two Worlds. And one particular, like a lot of people, I didn't know this, he also wrote a What's New Scooby-Doo, and he also wrote a lot of the Teen Titans episodes. So we've been in the game for quite some time, and of course, he wrote the Justice League Ultimate, the television series, so a lot of the episodes in that particular uh, animated cartoon. And it's, it's sad, and the reason why I say it's bittersweet, because next week on February 21st, it would have been a year ago that McDuffie died uh, during complications during a heart surgery. I think, you know, it's rather sad that the film didn't come out on that particular date. But, you know, something for the most part, you know, we're going to miss a great writer. I mean, I know it's been a year that he died and, you know, something for what it's worth, McDuffie was a great, you know, he basically put a lot of action, a lot of great storytelling into these animated cartoons. And whenever he writes, I notice that it's really smart, it's really intelligent, you know, it's not about race. I mean, I don't think that people should look at it as, well, you know what, he's a black writer who can write good stories. He's just a human being that loves what we all love, which is comic books. And he particularly can write a very good Batman, Superman, you know, Justice League type of comic book. And you know something, I will be honest, and I've always believed this, I think that anybody who could write a very good Justice League, you know, Superman type of story where, you know what it is, I always believe that, you know, some people can't write, you know, superhero stories the way it should be. You know, like, I'll give you an example like Steve Niles who is also a great horror writer has been criticized because he has tried to make an attempt to write Batman a lot of people think that he can't write Batman like I always said if you could write a very good Batman Superman comic book or you could write a Justice League comic book 
then you can basically, you are a great writer. Because it's always a very hard comics to write because it's all about continuity and it's also about linking the stories as well as entertaining the stories. Don't get me wrong, I'm not criticizing Steve Nile for his writing because I actually love one of his comic books that he does. Um, you know, a lot of the comic books that he does are, you know, with Superman and Batman. You know, they're interesting horror slash type of uh, storytelling. But for the most part, you know, Dwayne McDuffie is a genius next to Bruce Timm and, you know, Paul Dettany. And you have a lot of these, you know, animated, you know, minds that are brilliant who can write those stories rather well. You really got to be into the Batman, Superman, Justice League world in order to write the stories that McDuffie did. Now, I know that a lot of people don't really like these particular films, but you know something? If you give it a chance, it's really good. Particularly if you uh, take a look at Crisis in Two Worlds, that's the one that James Wood did the infamous voice for Owl Man, which is, is without no doubt the greatest role that, Jim, uh, that James Wood has done in a long time. And don't get me wrong, James Wood is a brilliant actor. But when he did that voice for Owl Man, it is it is the most sinister role I have ever heard him do. And you know something, he should. You know what it is. James Woods is also another underrated actor who doesn't get the credit that's deserved. But for the most part, it just goes to show you the type of writing that McDuffie can do. He can honestly write a really really compelling story that gets you into his work and his work will be missing it and his work is brilliant and it's rather sad because this was his last script that he wrote which was Justice League Doom and you know something in the end I hope that people do get the chance to uh, go back and look at his movies and look at his scripts and read his comic books and know that this was a brilliant individual when it came to writing amazing stories that not only excites us, entertains us, but also puts a lot of intellect behind it. And I love this particular um, movie of Doom, uh, Doom basically for Justice League because the reason why I like this movie is because you know not only were the action sequences really good but it was interesting what Batman's theory was. Batman's whole theory was was really about what ever happened if this group ever went, you know, to the dark side or went bad. I don't really think that Batman should have been criticized because you'll see in the movie, you know, the things that are going to be of debated an issue. But you know something, for the most part, Batman is an intelligent superhero, and I understand what he did. If anyone remembers, like, the comic book Civil War, it was the same type of scenario where Iron Man believed that a lot of these individuals who are superheroes, particularly the most powerful ones, should be trained and shouldn't live in anonymity and basically try to control their powers before their powers go to the extreme and, and harm the human race. You know, if you like those, if you like that type of storytelling, because Civil War was like that too. That's basically the comic book where Iron Man basically believed that you know what, anyone who's who's non-human is very powerful, like Spider-Man or the Hulk or Captain America, and who's living in anonymity, then basically they need to come in, register, and basically be trained for proper training to control your power where the other side debated that you know what we can't basically be trained because we have to live in anonymity for protection of the people we love and also not only are we protecting the people that we love but we're helping human society by living in anonymity because if they if the human race ever found out who we really are then basically they will try to attack us and try to put us in this extinction. 
So, you know, the point was was that I was reading um, Wizard and they had this debate like in the movies. Um, they were talking about Civil War and that debate. And I'm sorry I'm getting a little off topic, but it's just, it's just basically like the same MO that Batman was doing. Batman basically had the same theory that Iron Man had when in the comic book, which was, you know what? I want to be able to make sure that, because we all know Batman could kick some ass. Batman might be strong as hell, but he's still a human being. No matter how strong he makes his body, no matter how brilliant this man is, he still could be killed. You know, no offense, as much as I love Batman, he can't kick Superman's ass. He can't run as fast as Flash. He can't beat up Wonder Woman or outthink uh, John, you know, the Martian, or he can't even uh, tackle Green Lantern. So you have all these powerful superheroes with great strength and Batman's the only human who's using the most powerful weapon of all which is his mind so you know these are things that that are debated and are talked about in this movie Justice League Doom now like I said I give this movie an A I really like McDuffie's last work this movie is not better than Justice League uh, Crisis in Two Worlds, because that's obviously, in my personal opinion, the best one. But out of the movies, out of the, the recent movies that were done, because I didn't really like All-Star Superman. That was kind of like, okay, more like a story, story type of type of movie. But in terms of action, in terms of interesting storyline, check this movie out. This movie is very good. Like I always tell people, I wouldn't spend like, you know, twenty, thirty dollars on Blu-ray or DVD. If you can get this movie for five bucks, it'd be great. No disrespect to McDuffie. I know that his family wants a lot of money out of this, but you know what? We are living in an economy that's very tight and everybody needs to get a bargain or a budget. So if you find it for five dollars, if you find it for three, great. If you download it and you feel like you don't really want to spend no money, you could do it that way too. I think the most important thing is is that check out his work. His work is brilliant. And you know, my final comment is is that you know, respect to Dwayne McDuffie. I know it's been almost a year now that he's been gone from us, but after seeing this movie, his work and the man himself will be missed by comic book fans who love this particular genre which is superheroes and particularly DC superheroes you know it, this is a great addition to add to your comic book movie collection and you know something for the most part McDuffie you will be missed because as a comic book fan myself I particularly feel like you know what this film was really really good and you know give it a chance you know if you don't like it hey that's you know that's what's great about opinions everybody's got one but check it out and you know something hit me up with your comments tell me what you think when you get a chance to see it but I have to tell you that McDuffie you did a great job and I you know I know that Bruce Tim and a lot of his team you know will miss you because you were a great addition to this comic book DC world and I can't wait to check out more of his comic books that are coming out uh, because excuse me the comic book movies like I heard that they're doing Superman versus the Elite and I heard that they're also doing um, the Dark Knight Rises uh, I could be wrong on some of these titles but I know the Dark Knight Rises particularly was supposed to be written by Frank Miller so I'm gonna check that out and I'll give you an update as to some of the new projects but definitely Superman versus the elite that's the newest one that they're working on and they're working on a new uh, Cartoon Network comic um, book television show which is called Beware the Batman so check that out that's gonna be coming out in 2013 but as I put the movie as I close this uh, particular uh, topic I'm about to watch the movie right now, which is Green Lantern, the animated movie that was on Cartoon Network, and see if that's any good. But I have been, you know, it, as you give me some time, I do like to do review of movies and, you know, television and give my honest opinion on it. But for the most part, this was Doom is definitely an A. So check it out. Remember, you know, save your money. Try to buy it in a cheap budget way or download it. That's the best way I do it. So, 
You all take care of yourself. Have a great night. Hit me up with your comments as always. Remember, use your mind. It's your best weapon. It's the greatest weapon you got. And to McDuffie, rest in peace, my friend, because you will be missed in the comic book world. And for those fans who love movies and love comic books, check this out. It's a great one. Take care of yourselves all. You have a good night.